Our top story tonight at six uh, is about that UAW vote that's been going on all day long. Thanks for joining us. I'm Melissa Andrews and I'm Jeff Smith and UAW members here in Toledo. They are voting to approve a potential strike, something they intend to go through if contract negotiations with the big three stall out next month. Michael Sandlin joins us live from UAW Local 12 in Central Toledo. And Mike, you've been to a few union halls today. What kind of turnout are you seeing for this vote? Melissa, already thousands of people have come out from both union halls here in Toledo to come out to vote today, and there's still about an hour left in voting. Speaking to people that have come in and out of these doors, they say their rallying cry is that if the automakers aren't willing to listen, it might be time to let actions speak instead. Corporations now, this day and age, across the board, I have a tendency of, of forgetting to work in individuals. So they're making record profits and they haven't restored the benefits or the pay to the level that it was before. We made a lot of money and we want our paychecks to reflect this. Union members are fed up. Back in 2009, when automakers were going bankrupt, the unions agreed to cut wages and benefits to save the companies. We'll fast forward to today and nothing in those cuts has been given back. Starting pay has remained the same for 14 years. Pensions haven't seen an increase since 2003. While union leaders continue to try to negotiate for a better deal, they say big three auto manufacturers Stellantis, GM, and Ford continue to not play ball. The company's not bargaining, in our view, in good faith. They know what, what we say is accurate. I mean, they're, they're not, they can't challenge that. And Baumhauer says this leaves the unions with only one course of action to see change, a strike draining billions from the company's pockets to try to change their minds. But in order to do so, they need the workers to be on board. We, we're asking them to vote yes. We're asking them to give us that tool. Doesn't mean we'll go on strike. Uh, it just gives us the right to. Under, uh, without their permission, we can't call the strike. So we can bargain all we want with the company, but we have no leverage unless the membership authorizes the strike. And workers have come out en masse on Tuesday to give their input. I did a count this morning at 8.02, and at 8.02 we were at 1,061 I mean, people. With thousands more coming in throughout the day. But just how many are in favor of the strike? I think all of them. <laughs> I hope so. So as the final ballots are cast and the votes counted, it becomes more and more likely that for the first time in three years, the unions will join the picket lines once again. It's, it's just time to make a difference and let corporations know that we are standing for what we believe in and just gainfully get what, what we um, deserve. We'll find out the results of the election after 7 p.m., but even if both of the unions here in Toledo vote yes for strike actualization, there's still many more UAW chapters across the country that still need to get their say. We'll find out the results in totality on Thursday and the contract deadline is September 14th. In Central Toledo, I'm Michael Sandlin for WTOL 11.